some really talented snipers here, Ben. Tell me, who do you think is going to be getting the first bloods on this Envy squad each round? No, I would look at Zoomer again. I'm just, I'm looking at that stat. 81% of Envy's plants in this map were at the A site. So that tells you a lot. It's maybe a new deal what to really look out for on this search and destroy terrace when we watch a few Envy's. Yeah, one out of every five rounds it might go up to B. But here's at the start, it's Zuma with the sniper battle. Oh, that shot going to go wide right. And you're going to see some support. Zuma's got teammates right behind him on the mini-map, and that bomb was watching flank. One player pushed up pretty aggressively here for Envy. And you're going to see this Fatal Ambition squad not afraid to get in their face. Nameless spots one, going to chase it in the tunnels, and he will not be able to pick that up. It was Days turning on him. Saken also taking out Saints, and Joseph cleans up Merck. So one on three now for Zuma. Yeah, first round, I didn't think he would have expected this. This will be the ace for him if he can get it. Looks like he's going to fall, and does so. So nice opening round there from Omega Fatal Ambition. I'm liking what we're seeing here. Not afraid. In search, Daze is going to pick up two, and including your round ending kill cam. So, we're going to switch sides. Yep. Envy on defense, OFA on the attack. And again, I think this is going to come down to the sniping battles at the very start. You saw Zuma kind of miss two shots. Don't get me wrong, it's not an easy shot. You're not expected to really hit that. But, you know, if he does, that kind of changes things up a little bit. Curious to see the way that. Uh, Omega Fatal Ambition going to play this. Looks like they're actually going to head over towards his B side. There's going to be one player from Team Envy essentially over there, and they've all ran straight past him. Looks like they're actually going to flood past, and I love this play from them. Yeah, you see just one player really to, to scout out this push. He's going to be seen on the back stairs. Big fight coming in, and it's Joseph's picking up Merc. Already first blood in favor of OFA, and they're going to be now charging into the A site. Great pressure. Daze is going to clean up Nameless. Envy in a tough spot. Zuma and Saints, two on four. And Stumpy looking as if he's going to pick up this kill. Doesn't do so, but it's immediately traded. Nice play. Saints now, 1v3. Back-to-back 1 versus 3s for Team Envious. Not going to be easy, especially with that bomb planted. 30 the, seconds left. The teamwork has been fantastic here from OFA. Always in a position oh, to trade. Saints. Saints causing problems, though. He's got both of the weapons he needs for these ranges. Up close, it's the ASM-1. He's got the bow if he needs to go long range, but he's not going to win the up-close battle at A, and that is a 2-0 start. You can see Saints not affected, though, just resetting, getting ready to go back on the attack. And I, again, that was just such a smart heads-up play from Omega Fail Ambition. They kind of did the, the play call of, all right, what is Envy going to expect the least? And that was, you know, flood through B, wrap all the way around. And, and that first gunfight against Moke was so important for them in that push. Big game right here for Omega. Will they be able to steal the search and destroy and gain a little bit of confidence? Merc with your bomb is going to be charging right over to A. Zuma hit the first shot on Sagan, but Joseph is going to answer back three on three. Oh, and Zuma actually just missing a play. He's going to turn around. Oh, gets that headshot. headshot. Joseph's. Nice play from him. Merc, of course, still with that bomb. Doesn't want to plan that just yet, so it looks like they may play for another pick here. Days on the defensive side, they're trying to desperately hunt out Team Envious. It's now actually a two versus two. Saints and Merc versus Days and Stumpy. Yeah, Stumpy with a nice long-range bow kill. The bomb rotating to B, though, and we're going to see Stumpy. He's going to have to get in position pretty quickly as his teammate is coming on the flank. they got a pincer at the same time. Yeah, this is going to be crucial that you do this at the same time you got to hit it. Days isn't going to see any work. is in such a sneaky Just spot. Just yet. Mike's going to pick up the first kill. Stumpy, though, coming in from behind. Wins his gunfight. Now one versus one. Stumpy versus Saints. And he has no idea where Saints is. Jumped oh. over the building. Saints spots him and is going to pick him off. Big round win there for Envy. It got scary there for a moment. It did. Just a little bit. But they managed to get that round. Of course, you don't want to go down 0-3. That's pretty demoralizing of your team, Envy. Especially, you know, speaking to Merck in that pregame interview that Maven did. You know, he said, we need to work a little bit on that such a story. So, you don't want to lose the first West Bracket Round 1 S&D. That's it's going to demoralize you a little bit. You see Days there in the upper left. He's at 3-2, and two, but Joseph in the upper right sitting at 4-1. and one. He's going to be the player to watch. Also, your bomb carrier here on the second attack for OFA. Saints with that first pick, with that more sniper rifle. And looks like uh, Mega Fatal Ambition that thought about doing a very similar strategy. And you kind of see the way Envy adapted on that mini map. They kind of gave up that B side a little bit more. They didn't have anyone push through. And they just kind of played for that first Pikmin map, and it's worked out in their favor now to this full situation. Zuma on the hunt. Player inside will not be seen. Another one was just cleaned up. Actually, Saken going to take out Saint. Zuma does take out Saken, and there is the answer from Joseph. One on two now. Can he complete the 1v3 clutch? This would be impressive if he could. And it gives them such momentum as well, kind of going into those later rounds. And Envy playing a little bit of a 50-50 there. I think they're going to push through that, try and wrap around, and seems to be the game plan for Merck. So... Joseph's, he's going to be able to put that bomb down. 
Good play from him. Pulls Envy to come to you. Yeah, I was going to say, Envy doing a nice job sticking together as well. You can see those arrows just checking every single corner as they move. Now Joseph gives up his location, didn't finish off that kill. Will it become costly? The pressure's coming in. First, he's going to take out Nameless, picks him up with a headshot. One player right behind oh. him, and it's Merc chasing him down to get the defuse. Nice clutch by Merc. 2-2 two -two as Envy answers back with back-to-back -back rounds. Yeah, good, good pick up there from Merc. And that's going to type the game. As you said, Chris, at 2-2. Two -two. And, you know, the first couple of rounds seemed a little bit shaky for Team Envious. And Mega Fail kind of throwing some, some curved balls at them. But you saw the way they adapted in that round, like I said earlier. They're, they're back on track, 2-2. Two -two. I've been impressed with Zuma and Saints getting these first bloods, but Nameless is sitting at 0-4. So I'm yeah. looking for him to get some kills at the start, though. Let's see if Zuma can do it once again. Doesn't hit the first shot, didn't even have an angle. Saints trying to fire through the middle is going to have to wisely back down. So... At the lower end, we see Nameless getting very aggressive in the bedroom. Has a player right outside. Had to have heard that. He's all out of overclock. Doesn't have mute either. So Nameless is going to play this very carefully. Does have those two grenades, though. If he helps to maybe try and utilize them. But, you know, going back to Zuma in that first blood, he, did, he didn't see anyone this round. Omega Fatal not going to challenge. You know, Envy managed to get first blood the last couple of rounds. This time, saying we're not even going to give you the opportunity to do so. And Joseph's left in a one versus three. Managed to make it a 1v2. Nameless and Merc, left to life for Envious. This is tough for Joseph once again, a 1v3. Oh. And this time he is just going to be shut down. Had the kill lined up, couldn't control it. And it's Merc in your round ending kill cam. Turning and burning there with the ASM1. <laughs> he kind of stopped shooting, expected him to be dead. Yeah. And he was, he was like, oh, let me, let me just put a couple more bullets into you. No, no big deal, no big deal. Do want to point out, Merc on a five streak, really heating up. He yep. started off one and three, now at six and three to lead the team. I'm actually going to highlight Merc on that mini-map. He's going to be the yellow arrow. See exactly what he's up to on the defensive side. As Zuma gets another first blood from Stumpy, and you know they didn't challenge last round. They challenged this time, and Zuma's just too good of a sniper rifle player to, to really try and consistently. I mean, look at, look at how quickly everyone's just died. Joseph's left 1v3 again. Joseph, third round in a row in this situation, going to be so tough. Merc still highlighted in yellow, but he's going to find another opponent. It looks like that is going to be Zuma up top. All right, I think it's going to be Merc. Uh -oh. Surely, you're pulled. right. No. Oh, God, time. Just sneaking past each other. So, Joseph's taking his time, checking all corners as he is going to rotate from A, where they knew he was at, to B. And it looks like there is one player set up to watch B, that Saints. If he gets the one-on-one -on -one kill, he can get the bomb down and potentially escape to glass. See if he's going to sneak behind him. 37 seconds left. He had so much time to play with. Obviously, all of his teammates died so quickly. Oh, he's not going to see him. Oh, Saints, Saints is, is going right to get there. an easy kill. Envious go 42. Up into the lead. And all smiles from the boys in blue. Yeah, Nameless. You can just see he is in a great mood after this round. He's got a kill. He's no longer on the donut. Of course, you of course you're smiling. Yeah, breadsticks look good. Uh, <laughs> Looks better than a donut, that's for Seven sure. and three from Zuma. Very, or excuse me, that's Merc now. Seven and five for Zuma. Both players leading the squad. I wonder what's going on with Joseph, so is is he putting himself in a bad position to be the last man standing, or are his teammates nah. just too aggressive? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, especially that last round. His teammates died before he could even really blink. And look at the aggression coming in from Zuma. He's already right. behind two Fearless. plays. That's one, that's two. Nice, he played the three, no, falls. Merc looking to try and hit fire. He knows the player has to be in bedroom. Should be able to see him. That's going to be Days. Gets out shot there. So now Nameless left in a 1v2. You got this, Nameless. Or does he spot it? And he is going to pick up the kill on Days. Joseph's with the bow is going to challenge. Oh, he needs to try and back out of that bedroom. And that's what he's going to do. Nameless could actually just run at him, but picks up the bomb. 54 seconds left. So lots of time to play. Nameless dash to the left. Just clutched it. So well played from Nameless. One on two, finish Days. His knees were visible. Nameless picked up the first kill. And then here in the one on one. Able to just put the pressure on and pick up the kill. You see how crucial that kind of dash to the left that was from Nameless. The enemy player misses that first shot. Nameless gets his first shot, especially with the ASM1. You're going to kind of just tear straight through him. Switching it up one more time. Envy on game point. We have to see will Omega Fatal Ambition be able to take four in a row if they want to stay alive in this one already. Their top player, Joseph's taken down. Zuma going to take out Stumpy. At least Forsaken 
One versus four. The only player on the team to play wow. at a major LAN event before. Not going to be able to do it. And Team Envious cruise through that search and destroy terrace despite a pretty shaky start, you know? Got to give Omega Fatal Ambition some props. They kind of threw some curveballs at the very beginning, caught Envy off guard, but Envy far too experienced to let that kind of rattle them. They managed to clean up six rounds.